You've been through this process a lot. What is that feeling like? You know, you're going in, everybody starts at zero. What is that like? It's an exciting process, you know. The season's getting ready to start. It's like the rev up. It's like, you know, people are showing up, sitting down right before their TVs, looking on ESPN, trying to watch some really good fights. And I'm, I'm excited to be a part of it. I'm excited to start to kick the season off. Put the ball in my hand. Let me get that touchdown. We were talking about how you've been a guy who's fought through this format many times. A lot of PFL fights for you. Um, how much of an advantage do you think that gives you? It's a massive advantage. I'm going to jump on their ass because they're not going to be ready for the camps after camps after camps and weight cuts after weight cuts. You win, you want to go celebrate, you can't, you, you, you lose, you got to get up and get going. You know, you got knots on your legs from the kicks and stuff like that, but you got to get back into camp. Almost like that. Good. I think they understand it and we've been talking about it to them, but I don't think they understand how quickly the back-to-back -back is, especially a lot of them are veterans and they haven't had a career where they fight four times in, in that short amount of time. So it would be a new thing on their body, mind, and, and, and skills. Thank you very much, guys. Yes, sir. Awesome. Ooh, done deal. Yep. This is talking presented by Dude Wipes. I'm here with our co-main event. I want to get some shit talking out of you guys, which I know is a little challenging because you told me earlier this week you're not going to talk I'm going to be honest, I just I don't want to waste everyone's time here, but you ain't going to get no shit talk out of me today. I respect him, respect his team. I know his coaches, great people. We don't need to talk shit against each other because we know he's like that kind of a samurai code. We know when it's time to go, we go. I know I'm gonna get a fight out of him, and that just excites me to go out there. I was crap, so that's that's all who excites me. Do you think Pedro is ready, prepared to have those four fights a year? Does do you think he has what it takes, and he knows what he's getting himself into? Let me just correct you on a thing. It's not four fights in a year. It's four fights in seven months. Yeah. It's very different. Yeah. Doesn't matter right now because this is the first fight anyway. So he's trained like a normal fight. So have I but what can we expect to see out of both of you in the Smart Cage on Friday night? Do you have any fight night predictions? Both highly experienced, world-class fighters. PFL are in for a treat. They couldn't have made a better matchup, really, for the first one. The fans going to be delighted because we both bring it, and it's going to be 100%. I'll put my money there. It's going to be a great, great fight. And this has been another friendly episode of Talking <laughs> 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 This wasn't talking It was talking nice. <laughs> 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 Good luck, Marco. Safe cut, yeah? So what's up, dog? We got about 10 pounds to go. We're gonna hit this treadmill. We're gonna hit this here sauna. And we just keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. On repeat until that weight's gone. All right, let's get some tunes cranking so we can. Get the pace going a little bit, huh? I haven't seen Brennan Ward look better than he does this time around, so he's looking 100%. He's uh, on point, looks sharp, down to weight, in shape. Um, just excited to watch him perform. You know, we're not too focused on his opponent, just focusing on what Brennan's good at and, um, yeah, taking the fight where we want to be. They might do right in the first round. He might look okay. He might get off some kicks. Uh oh, I'm gonna block him all. He'll look all right until he gets tired. Cause I don't get tired, bro. And I'm gonna break him. Like I break everybody. That's what it is. That's the official prediction, bro. Let's get this out of ten. Right, I'll catch you in a while.
We've been moving the show around the U.S. and this week we're in Chicago where the welterweights and the featherweights are not only going to kick off their competition this season, but we're going to wrap up the first half of the regular season. And we have former Bellator champions and finalists as well as PFL champions and finalists competing tomorrow night. And while I'm so excited to see them get in the smart cage, their first battle is going to be with the scales. Kamaka goes in there next, please. Go see Chris, right at the door. Kai Kamaka, up on the scale. 145.8. Thanks, Kai. Main event, Andre Koreshkov. 170.6. Magomed Umulatov. Magomed Umulatov, 170.3. I feel better. I can drink. Pedro Carvalho. Pedro Carvalho, 145.6. Bubba Jenkins running a lot there in 2024, how's it sound? Yeah, I like it. Bubba Jenkins. Forty-five point eight. Brendan Lochnane, up on the scale. Brendan Lochnane, one hundred forty-five point eight. So smooth, so smooth this time, Jesus. Thank you. Welcome, PFL Fight fans, to Chicago, Illinois, the third regular season event of 2024. Welterweights and featherweights taking center stage here in the Windy City. A stellar main event is coming your way. Your co main it will be Brendan Lochnane, Pedro Carvalho, as the regular season continues in Chicago. First, in the blue corner, fighting out of Las Vegas by way of Capole, Hawaii, Kai Kamaka. 145 and three quarter pounds for Kai. And in the red corner, fighting out of Las Vegas by way of Virginia Beach, Baba Shukins. Official weight, 145 and three quarter pounds. Face off. Let's go. Good luck, gentlemen. First, in the blue corner, fighting out of Mistishchi, Russia, Shamil Musayev. Official weight 170 and three quarter pounds. In the red corner, fighting out of Webster, South Dakota, Logan Storley. Official weight 170 and one half pounds. Come up. Face off. Face forward. Good luck, gentlemen. Introducing first in the blue corner, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, and representing Portugal, Pedro Carvalho. Okay. Official weight 145 and one half pounds. I just feel that I, I hit a level up because now I'm just enjoying everything. All my game is just getting loose and I can always wait for tomorrow. And in the red corner, Fighting out of Manchester, England, Brendan Lockmane. Official weight 145 and three quarter pounds. I've been working for this moment since Christmas Day, so it's been a long old camp, but serious improvements. I'm looking forward to showing you, and I really think it's going to be fire tonight. Face off. Face 
Dr. Jonah. Introducing first, in the blue corner, fighting out of Omsk, Russia, Andrei Koreshkov. Official weight 170 and one half pounds. I'm ready. I have a big experience. It's not the first time I've been in the main event. I'm ready for everything. And in the red corner, fighting out of Dagestan, Russia, Magomed Umbalatov. Official weight 170 and one quarter pounds. I'm happy to be here this new season, but same goal. I'm waiting for this moment a long time. I hope this year will be mine. Okay, step here. Now just step up. Please off. 